Hello everyone, today in front of me I have this Motorola Edge 30 smartphone and in this video we would like to show the top 5 pro tips for this device. So let's go ahead and start. The first tip that I would like to show you is the fact that you can go ahead and change the screen refresh rate on the smartphone. In order to, for you to access this option just open up settings, go for the display category and here scroll down until you stumble upon the display refresh rate option. Here we have two values and um, three modes to choose from so you can either go for 60 hertz which will get us uh, less smooth visual appearance but uh, will significantly increase the battery duration the battery life or uh, as it is chosen in my case you can go for 144 hertz which will get us way smoother animation scrolling experience and etc me myself i like my phone to look pretty i like my system and interface to look pretty and uh, smooth so i'll just uh, sacrifice some of the battery health for uh, the highest possible screen refresh rate and there is also the like the third value the third mode that is auto and once chosen it will automatically switch between those two values in accordance with the current system and battery state so basically it will just get you it will get you the optimal refresh rate uh, considering all the states of your system currently Alrighty, so we are moving on to the second tip, which is all of how you can enable the always and display on this device. So just go to the display category of settings as well. Here, look for the pick display and turn it on. And as you will see now, once I turn off my screen, double tap on it, the always and display appears, which will contain some time, uh, brief weather information, date, day of the week, recent notifications, and the battery state as well. We can like briefly configure it we have like three designs to choose from how we want to look it like what we want to look like exactly i'll go with this like analog clock design for example press and done there is the switch uh, that allows us to turn on or respectively turn off the animated background for it tap to wake gesture and vibrate on touch haptic feedback there is also the separate section that allows us to regulate notification uh, notifications behavior but not a lot of to speak not, not a lot of things to speak of so let me see how this analog clock look like. Just like so. Alrighty, so we're moving on to the next tip, which is the fact that you can set your fingerprint as the screen lock method. So in order for you to, well, do that, just open up the settings, locate the security section of it. Alrighty, that's not the one. So here we go, the security. And at the device security section, just tap on the fingerprint. And prior to actually setting uh, any biometrical uh, unlock method, should it be fingerprint or face, it is required for you to have uh, some backup unlock method from the list of pattern, pin, or password. So obviously if you have one of those set up in prior, uh, prior to enrolling the fingerprint, uh, this step will be skipped. Me, I don't. Personally, I don't, so I'll just set up some pattern here. Then I'll go ahead and confirm it. And in prior, uh, prior to actually starting to enroll in the fingerprint, there is also this page that allows us to regulate the notification content behavior. I'll just leave it at show all notification content. So let's go ahead and set our finger up. The sensor, the scanner is located on the bottom part of your display right here. So all you gotta do in order for the enrollment process to be started is to lay and lift your fingerprint until the entire surface of it gets scanned. So just lay, lift, lay, lift. You can just go ahead and slightly rotate your finger each time you do that. So the scanner, uh, the sensor will scan the entire surface of your finger. Don't be afraid to apply some force as well. So we are gradually filling this circle out with blue and once it gets once it gets enrolled we can just well basically go go ahead and start using it let's test it out i'll lock my screen call out for the lock screen here lay my finger and as you can see we have successfully unlocked our device And the next tip is the fact that you can also set your face as the unlock method. So let's get back to the security category of settings real quick. Mm -hmm. So security. And here right below the fingerprint, we have the face unlock as well. We'll uh, enroll the pattern that we have just set. 
and but, like I, I would be honest with you setting the face is way easier than the fingerprints so all you gotta do is to place your face inside this circle frame and scan it i'll do it off the screen real quick already and just like that my face has just gotten scanned it uh, works this fast here uh, we'll be able to choose whether we want the for the lock screen to be skipped once we unlock our device with a face and the leave to unlock function to work i'll enable both switches and now we'll go ahead and test it out i'll lift my phone and it gets unlocked successfully once I align my face with the selfie camera. Great success. Alrighty, and the final feature, the final tip that we were to share with you guys is called uh, digital well-being option. So go, let's go to this, head back to the settings. Here, look for the digital well-being and parental controls uh, category. So basically the settings allow you to maintain your digital well-being as you could already guess. Here you have some breakdown on how many, how much time, how, how many hours or minutes have you spent in this or that particular app. For example, I've spent this much time, 24 minutes. Oh yeah, 24 minutes uh, with my screen on in general. So that's my screen time. 20 minutes in the settings app in particular, one minute to the Pixar and so on and so forth. So it allows you to see whether you have spent uh, too much time on some certain app and allows you to regulate and limit your screen usage. So just helps you to set up some healthy patterns of like using the phone, using the device if you would. Here we have the bedtime mode, which you can set up and improve the sleep quality. So your phone, uh, like notifications and any any other stuff that can bother you but will not bother you once you go to sleep. Next, there is D&D, the not disturb mode, focus mode, that you can uh, mm, pause some apps and so they will stop distracting you and other useful features as i said it's a very very handy tab for the ones who want to improve their digital experience and set up some healthy phone usage patterns Alrighty, so that was pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and bye bye